All right, let's turn on this here microphone. Hop into this live stream, get it going. What's happening? Hope y'all are doing well. Thanks for the people popping in here live and watching and joining this week's bit of a office hours and community chat. <clears throat> I am Aunt Pruitt. Freelance photographer, creator at large, all that good stuff. And uh, each and every Friday, at least for the time being, I like to sit here and just open up my studio to answer any questions and help people out that are curious about photography, videography, creation, so on and so forth. If you got any questions about that stuff or just have general conversations and fun chats, we tend to have a good time over here. I've, I've, I've enjoyed this thus far hanging out with everybody so if you're watching live right now please do me a favor go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button that's on the screen and also hit that little thumbs up like button so youtube will show me some love so thank you for doing that it does help me out and help the channel out i'm right there at 5,000 subscribers so let's uh let's get that number pushed up and get me to that next milestone i'd appreciate that all right. So while we wait on folks to ask questions, because you can just ask questions right here in the live chat, it should be open. I uh, see people watching, but just pop in the live chat. And if you got any questions for me, feel free to ask. In the meantime, I am going to um, hop into a project I've been working on, which is part of my marketing stuff. And yeah, I could just hang out with me there if you feel like it. <laughs> and uh, we'll do our thing here in this uh, office hours. So let me find the chat window and make sure I could see my chat window. All right. I can't see my chat window. That's why. So let's pop it out so I can see it. There we go. Scroll that right there. All right. Ozone Nightmare in the house. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Dang it. I lost my chat window again. What the heck? Let's see. What am I doing over here? What is causing? I did hit pop out chat. So I could close that. Close that. Don't need to see any of that. That's personal. <laughs> How about this? We move this stuff. I need to find the chat window. I saw it for a second. And then it disappeared. Very bizarre. There we go. So now I do pop out. Yeah, it went away for some some reason. I don't know why. So now let me rearrange this back to where I could see and see you all and work at the same time. There we go. Now we'll pop Premiere back up over here and then we can switch back to that screen there. All right. Uh, Ozone Nightmare says i know it pops behind everything and there's got to be a way to make it persistent yeah i don't know what's up with that but i'm also still figuring out obs in general yeah and i can dock it inside of uh what do you call it obs i can dock it in there and i could see it there but it just wasn't big enough so i figured i should pop it out but i'm talking about the native window for the chat inside of YouTube stream. I don't know why it disappeared just now, but it's there now. So we will roll on with it there. So let's, uh, I could put this, let's shrink this down a little bit. All right, so what I got going on on the screen today is I 
if you watch my hangout with Mr. Jason Howell the other day, I told him that I try to do at least two highlight clips from the podcast a week, at least two, because that gives me enough bandwidth to try to get some other stuff done. And I've already done one, which is what you already see on the screen is published on my Instagram and TikTok and all of that good stuff. Um, so now I need to try to figure out another one. And some people like to use something like uh, Opus, Opus Clip. That's an AI tool. And I was previously using Opus Clip and paid for it. And I didn't find a value in it. I just, you know, it, it, I felt like for the amount of time that it spent trying to figure out stuff, you know, the AI processing and thinking and all of that, I could have done that. And it's pretty much what I've been doing ever since. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Funny chat here. What is this dude talking about? What is Ozone saying? And then that window got weird. Can we fix that so we can see it? I did the cropping go wrong again. I bet the cropping went wrong. So I'll just take it off there. But Ozone says, um, the expression looks like someone just poured salt in your coffee. <laughs> That's my smiling face. What are you talking about, dude? But I assume it's your model game face. That's that's my smiling face. What you talking about over there? Let me see if I can fix this chat window, too. That's that shouldn't be acting weird like that. And yep, that's what it is. It's got some weird cropping and scaling going on. So let's fix that. There we go. So now if it pops up. That's a little bit better. Just the cropping is off again. One more time, fix that. So change that to 25. Does that work? And yeah, that's a little bit better. All right. Now we are good to go. Trying to clip out some words for promo should not be this complicated. Well, the thing is, this is why television shows <laughs> and big productions have producers because the producer, part of their role is to take notes pre show, take notes during the show, and notes for post show, post mortem stuff. And if they're taking notes, during the show, they know time code to jump right to and say, hey, at such and such time, we talked about so and so. That's probably going to be a good idea to use that as a segment to uh, a, a segment highlight. So that's that's the difference there. Being a solo person versus being a team, you know what I mean? So what I typically do is I just scrub through. And all of that's that one highlight is already done in this timeline. This is how I set up the timeline. First, the sequence is a, a nine to 16 aspect ratio. That's the very first thing to do. So if you look at the sequence settings, it's 1080 by 1920, which is nine to 16 frame rate. I, I like. I'm going to be real here. I love shooting at 60 frames per second, but I know that's not ideal for this. 30 frames per second is the next best thing in my eyes. I don't care for 24 frames per second unless I'm shooting something that's a cinematic series or what have you. So I tend to go with 30 frames per seconds for this stuff or 29.97. All right. So that's the sequence settings. So I got that there. And then you'll notice, let's see, can I fix this here? Turn that off. All right. And then you'll notice I have this little color mat going on there. I'm not sure why that color mat is. Oh, yeah. I put this purple color mat here. If I move it around, 
you know, it takes up the full, it takes up the full screen, but I don't need it to take up the full screen. So I moved it down to right about here. So that allows me to set up another shot on top of that, which is, you know, the actual video clip. And granted, the video clip is huge. It's, it's usually, I think mine, I usually have it set to um, 1440p. So just a little bit bigger than, than HD. And so I have to scale it down. And I found that if I can, I can still use a full video like that scale down at the top. And so that's what I got going on over here. So let's see. Like right here. Yeah, it's way off. Normally it is. And I even wrote down what I've set the dimensions to. Normally it is right here on the X, right there on the Y, and it's down to 55% like that there. Yeah, and he's mentioning, Ozone mentions about Premiere's text feature. Premiere, po Premiere Pro text search feature has made it a lot easier. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier because of that. Real talk. So there, now we got that piece of video scaled up properly. And I can play through this and it's going to look totally fine, you know? If I was a be if I was watching this on a phone, this video looks good. It's got a pretty clear face, pretty clear subject. Granted, it's not quote taking up the full screen, but having that color bar there does show that it's taking up the full screen because otherwise it'd just be black like that. And I think that looks stupid. And I decided to go with a color mat of purple because that's part of the branding. So that's the kind of stuff you can consider. And then if you look down at what I worked on previously, yeah, I got the color bar going on, the color mat going on there. But then there's this part of the sequence where it goes full screen. And that's a creative decision that I made to, you know, depending on what's being said, how things are being said, if it's just me or if it's just her, I'll flip to the single cam here on the ATM. And if I flip to the single cam, I'll make it a single cam shot here in this um, highlight. And I think it stays single for the most part on this one. Yeah, I did. And it worked, you know. So it all depends. You, I, I, I try to think this stuff through as best I can and not spend too much time on it. Oh, super chat. Thank you, man. Uh, let's see here. Let's pull that up. Since this is directly useful to what I'm trying to do today, here's some burrito cash. <laughs> Will you crop down the one to one ratio when you've got it done? No, I do not. Um, and Mr. Esposito, I actually wanted to talk to you, ask you about that. Um, some of your stuff, honestly. But no, I don't I don't go down to one to one ratio for anything. At at one point in time I was doing one to one stuff to put directly on the Instagram's feed and not the reels. But nobody was watching the feed. They just watched the reels. And the reason for that is because Instagram ain't pushing the feed. They're pushing the reels. So I stopped doing that. But when I was putting stuff on the Instagram feed, it was definitely one to one. And every now and then I thought about doing it on the X platform or Twitter or whatever. I'm, it's X. It's called X. So I'm going to say X. I used to do one to one there, but that's not even necessary. So I just keep it at 16 to 9 or 9 to 16 and it works totally fine. But yeah. But far as you, Ozone Nightmare, I was wondering, um, your Daily Five podcast, dude, you sh you could be killing it on TikTok. Absolutely killing it. So do you have a TikTok account? I'm curious about that because I listen to yours and I, I really do enjoy <clears throat> what you've done with it. And I respect what you've done with it because condensing, you know, those topics down to just five minutes, that ain't easy. So now I'm going to challenge you to condense it down to 60 seconds. 
or 90 seconds because you can do more than 60 seconds on TikTok. But your content, that that subject, you could kill it on TikTok, real talk. <laughs> I can do it. I just figured out without video, no one would care. Yeah, you can do, um, you, you don't necessarily have to have video. There goes the cropping again. <laughs> what is going on with my chat window? So if I did it here, that's weird. All right, I'm done fighting with the chat window. I try to show it on the screen. Um, but yeah, you can do the um, TikTok stuff with just still images. My son has a TikTok account. I'm not going to share it yet because he's been fairly private about it. But he, he mentioned it to me some time back and I, I didn't think to look at it. And when I looked at it, I was like, holy shit, this is pretty good. It's about stuff that I don't care anything for, but he's done a really good job. And it's just some stills and his voice. That's it. He's just doing VO and he's putting, you know, the right information on the screen and this get in and it's get out. And it's, Man, and if he just does it more consistently, it he's going to be all right. But, you know, that's the, the other part of it is you got to be consistent. So, yeah, I think you should be all over TikTok, man. All right. So back into Premiere. I got to get at least one more. I can't remember some of the stuff we talked about. So I can scrub through and just sort of look at the fonts that's popping up on the screen. The text is popping up on the screen. So that we talked about food inflation and how much food costs. Maybe that's doable. We talked about the bridge. What else did we talk about? Uh, we talked about cleaning brand new stuff. Maybe I can go with that because that's pretty, you know, um, common for that's a common discussion. It's not too nerdy. It's not too technical stuff like that. So let's find that. And the easiest way for me to find that is go over here and I'll just say wash. There we go. And I love how I'm being able to just type in the search uh, text in the search field. And it's going to take it straight to it on the timeline for me. That's so much faster. So now I will put a endpoint here. somewhere in this area. And let's listen for it. I'm going to need to turn my ears on. Let's see, turn my ears on so I can hear it. And granted, you guys are going to hear some of that audio too, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm laughing at Ozone in the chat. But now that I think about it, I could easily reformat my time lapse art to 60 to 90 seconds. Yep, you sure can. You sure can. And you can put VO over the top of that. Oh, dude, you can kill it. Why the hell didn't that occur to me before now? I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, you're not an idiot. But I highly recommend you you put some effort in that because you got the skill for it. Washing stuff right, so is brand new. Hey. I, and, I, and I hope this isn't too loud in y'all's ears. Let me check my meters. <laughs> and I saw yeah, that's a little loud in here. So I'm gonna turn that down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stuff. Um, Tanya Wyman, on um, one of one of my great friends. Love you, Tanya. Thank you for all your support over these years. She, she agreed you wholeheartedly. Um, don't listen to this audio. But I didn't want to that to And another thing. I much agreed with you too, because. And another thing. Make sure you use your keyboard shortcuts in all apps that you can. <laughs> The, it, it goes a long way. I could sit here and use this mouse and scrub back and forth like that. But if I'm on Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, freaking JKL are freaking lifesavers. L to go forward. I did not want J to go back. K to stop. L to go forward. L a couple of times to speed up. Stop it. J to go back. J a couple of times to make it faster. All of that stuff is just definitely use your keyboard shortcuts when you have to, especially when you're trying to fine tune stuff. Point was to get my hair colored purple. Sure. 
that's a fun one. Oh, I got to be careful because I try not to put stuff out there that, you know, she might be embarrassed about or what have you or make it look like I'm making fun of her because that's not the case. But she provides a lot of <laughs> a lot of comedic gold just being her. <laughs> Um, Tanya Wyman on um, the one that see that spelled her name wrong. That's Tanya, but I know it's not spelled that way, so I can fix that real quick. It's W. -E -E. Like that. He did some stuff to us. I will. I will that was I did not want that color. I was kind of pointing to my hair color purple. Sure, it's sure. it's real. I mean, sure, sure, sure. It's not cute. I tried to make it cute so many times. I put some in and tried to party it. It's so cute. Oh, you're so sweet, darling. I do you all right, so make the end point here, because that was way too far back. I saw stuff, Tanya Wyman, one of my friends, when I was in New York, she covered you hardly. Joe was the deal with audio, but I didn't want to let that be part of the thing, because the bed was in New York, I'm going to hear about that. And so people went off, we went up. So we get something from the driver, we're watching the driver, because it was pretty bad. Wow, that was just natural instincts. Uh. Instincts, it's just pretty instincts. Because that's the voice that I hear every time. I get it. It's like, oh, you're not the German bitch, you're not the But I want it on here right now. I want to use these towels. Get them early in the morning. Okay, so maybe stop along here, but let's go for it a little more. Uh, stop, go ahead. Oh, it's not gonna let me go because I got the end point. So I need to clear Washing stuff. So let's clear out there. So I'll just put a marker here. That's what I'll do. Just put a marker there. Home and wash them and they be ready. This is at true. This is true. Towels. I do like to use towels. I do like to wash towels. Yeah. It fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out with people touch. You're not going to say, oh, this is brand new. They're brand new to you. Oh, okay. This is what I'll go with. I'll definitely go with this because You're I know put that. In the dishwasher, correct? I know the fact that I don't agree with her here could be controversial. <laughs> so, yeah, let's work. Let's work with that one. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna. I'm gonna play this little bit of feedback. Perfect. Yeah. See, right. You get it. The expression is gold. That's that's the stuff. You know. So I'll make an out point there. <laughs> he says he was laughing pretty hard at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Ancestors put into us. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it before you put it on the bed. Because yeah. uh -huh. that's the voice that I hear. Okay. So we'll start right along here. So let me go back. Make that an end. Let's zoom in. Like that. As soon as we get something, we're going to throw it in the dryer or we're going to wash it and then throw it <laughs> in the dryer because it, it was pretty bad. Wow. Yeah. Wow. See, those just natural instincts that our ancestors <laughs> put into <laughs> us. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it before you put it on the bed. Because yeah. uh -uh. that's the voice that I hear every time. And I then I'm going to have like, to no, cut some stuff. Put that straight on your bed. Because, again, you want to try to keep it to... Yeah. But you got 15 second clips, you got 15 second clips, and you got 60 second clips. Those are um, 15, 30, and 60 seconds work on all of the platforms. Um, that's YouTube Shorts, that's Instagram Reels, that's also TikTok. You can go beyond 60 seconds on TikTok. So I try to keep things in the 60 seconds. That way I know I'm, I can hit all of the platforms because I got three different audiences. You know, uh, people that are on YouTube shorts are not necessarily on Instagram reels and vice versa. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. And also there's the aspect of uh, the algorithms. They push, they push your stuff to people that don't even follow you. 
You know what I mean? I believe most of my views of YouTube shorts are not even from my subscribers. Like 98% are from people that don't even subscribe to me, but they see them. And I get a fair amount of views on YouTube shorts. TikTok, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure TikTok is not people that follow me because I don't have a lot of followers on TikTok. I think I got like 300, but I'll get maybe four or 500 views on things. So it's definitely from people that's not following me. You know what I mean? So I try to stick with 15, 30 and 60 seconds on these clips as best I can. Sometimes I fail at that and they end up being a little bit longer. And if they end up a little bit longer, then I only put them on TikTok. That's, you know, and that just means I'm missing a couple eyeballs for that particular clip. So let's go back here. Um, Cause right now I'm looking at this sequence and whoops, I need to fix that. There we go. Right now I'm looking at the sequence, you know, this in and out point and it's telling me I'm at a minute and 34 seconds. I already know that's way too long, but I'm just, I'm just going to scrub through it and, you know, figure out where I can make some cuts. <laughs> when you go to the store, get up early in the day so you can get back home and wash them. And this is like true. That. This is true. Towels are the same way. I actually don't like to use a towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Mm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that you are not going to use. Um... Okay, so well, maybe we go here. Early in the morning. Don't need any of that. So I'm going to. And I'm going to have to redo these captions because some of that is spelled. Wrong. <laughs> Because yeah. uh, that's the voice that I hear every time I get it's like, no, nope. before you put her on the bed, yeah. back and up. Me, <laughs> into us, put that shit in the washing machine and clean and before you put her on the bed. Let's start there. Let's make that the start of it. Put that shit. Go there. Mark that in end. So now we're down to a minute 19 just for making that cut. So let's start there. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it before you put it on the bed. Because yeah. uh, that's the voice, voice that I hear every time I get it. It's like, no, do no. not put that straight on your bed. Do not put that straight on the bed. I don't need the repetition there. So we're going to go back. Oh, do no. not put that straight on your bed. So we go back. Stop right there. Zoom in and I'll trim this caption a little more if it'll let me because these are locked down to like 1.4 seconds and then I will make a break here so I highlight all of that. And just hit C on the keyboard. Boom, boom. Done. And figure out what I'm going to cut. I do not put that straight on the bed. Yeah. But All right, so let's come to butt. So let's scroll back. Right about there. So now I will highlight all of that. And I hit B on the keyboard for a ripple. And just scrub down to here. It's not going to let me. Sometimes there are restrictions. So I'll just delete these. No, not the whole damn thing, idiot. <laughs> so delete those. And then we'll do the ripple be on the keyboard and ripple down to here like that on your bed but i want it on here right now and i'll cut here there we go yeah. i want to use these towels but for real though Oh, with towels. Well, well, you better get them early in the morning. 
when you go to the store, get them earlier in the day so you can get back home and wash them. Going to cut all of that out, true. too. This is true. Towels are the same way. I actually don't. All right. So I'm a. Let's make a mark there as well. And I hit M on my keyboard to make a little mark in the file. So I'll see that. That's where I'm going to ripple to. When you go to the. You better get them early in the morning. Keep going back. Towers, but for real. I want it on here right now. Yeah. I want to use these towels, but for real though, with ta towel. So. Now. Yeah. Okay, so we'll cut here. All right, and I can zoom in and get rid of the captions prior. Actually, I don't need to. Since it's a whole block, I don't have to do my ripple cut. I can do it straight from the text thing. So I'll go down here. Just scrolling through. So we we'll highlight to there and then hit delete and it ripples. Boom. That's so much quicker. So now let's play back. The towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Because mm -hmm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's So that sounds good. Let me go back further to make sure the context is still there. And before you put it on the bed. Yeah. Because uh, that's the voice that I hear. Now there's a big time. gap right here in the captions. No, do no. not put that straight on your bed. Yeah. But I want it on here right now. Yeah. I want to use these towels. But for real, though, with towels. Well, well you better get them early in the morning. <laughs> when you go See, it didn't, it didn't ripple. It just rippled the text. It should have rippled the full timeline there. Not good. Sometimes that works pretty good. That time it did not. So this is why you double check. Towels, but for real though, with towel. Yeah. But for real though. So let's try this again. Like that. Scroll down. And she said, this is true. And I'm going to right click, see if it does it this way. That's just the block. I need to do the ripple. So there's usually a ripple option in here. What the heck? Start there. Scroll down. Right click, right click. It just says delete text block. Interesting. What did I do wrong there? Oh, I'm in the wrong window. That's why <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the transcript window, not the captions window. Duh. Okay. That's why it didn't work. So now it's got it all highlighted there. So let's see, I could take a wash out. There, so we say right now, and then we start. Brand new. And then she says, this is true. Where is this is true? There, there's this is true. Like that. Then we got delete ripple. There we go. So now it's thinking. That did it. <laughs> Ooh, mercy. 
Thank you all for being in here. I see people are watching. Appreciate you being in here. If you got questions, just throw them in the chat. Our ans ancestors <laughs> put into us. <laughs> Mr. From Mr. Joe Esposito. Here. Oh, I feel something hurt right now. Let me see if we can get this to play. So we'll uh, we'll do this. And now one thing I do hate about this, when I make that ripple cut like that, it clears out my in and out points. So now my in and out points are gone because I didn't want to start at this. Ah, damn. I hate that. Damn it. So is this my end point here at this marker? Stuff. Um, Tanya. Oh. Put into us. <laughs> Mr. From, from Mr. Joe Esposito. Here. Oh, I feel something right now. Damn. You know, yeah, Mr. Esposito, I'm cutting out your, your uh, audio there. <laughs> Damn it. I cannot believe it. Nah. I, where did we say it was going to start? It was <laughs> right along here. I got a marker there, but it doesn't sound right. And, and I saw some stuff. Um, Tanya Wyman, on, um, one, of, one of my great friends. Love you, Tanya. Thank you for all your support. She quoted you wholly. Don't listen to this audio, but I didn't want to listen to the party. You because the thing is in New York, I'm going to hear about that. So people don't. We want to be able to drive around and watch the internet. Wow, that's just natural instincts. Okay, so it's natural instincts. Because it, it was pretty bad. Wow. Yeah. Wow. See those just. So we'll start at C. So let's click there to put that there. And I'm going to put a new marker in here. Let's see if this works. So we're going to put a new marker here. Whoops. Not that. I have to put click down here. So put a new marker there. And I'm going to edit the uh, marker. Uh, now why can't I change the color of my marker? Never mind, just leave it there. All right. See those just natural instincts that our ancestors <laughs> put into us. Mr. From Mr. Joyce Bazito. Oh, I feel something hurt. Right Let me see if we can get this to play. So we'll uh, we'll do this here, and we'll hit play, and hopefully the folks here. Use All right, so we're gonna cut from here. And we'll go all the way down because I see he's talking about the Dutch film. Joe's still talking. There's no privacy. Joe's still talking. All right. Cookie banner stuff. I'll do it now. Blah, blah, blah. Drives me nuts. Dude, where where did it did it? <laughs> why does it seem like none of this none of the stuff that we talked about is showing up in my transcript? I didn't delete everything. Oh no! Come on, Premier. I was just bragging on you for once. All right, so let's see. Wash. Wash. Wash, wash, washer, dishwasher. Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is really bizarre. I'm gonna have to undo all this because I'm 
I'm not sure what happened. All of that text. <laughs> there it is. This is what I want. But the problem is, like I said, it clears out my in out points on my timeline. It clears this part out. So it screws me up. <sighs> so let's do this. We'll put a marker down here. So we'll do shift I to go to the beginning of the end point. And I'm going to put a marker in this part of the file. So I'll look for that there. Now I can just, I should be able to scrub through and delete the stuff that I didn't want. And it says right now we're here. So it says, wow, I see you put that in the wash machine. Blah, blah, blah. There was some repetitive stuff if I remember right. On the bed. Because yeah. uh -uh. that's the voice that I hear every time I get it. It's like, nope, do yeah. not put that straight on your bed. Yeah. But I want it on here. Okay, right so now. there's a cut. I want to use these towels. But for real, though, with towels. Well, well, you better get them early in the morning. See, this is the part I don't need. Stop there. I want to use these right now. Uh, then. So we'll put the cursor here and we're going to cut down to this is true like that. And this should do a ripple delete. Dude, that looked like that took a lot more. <laughs> That's where it looks like that took a lot more. I don't even see my marker. I'm just going to do this manually from Mr. Joyce. You see that? That's the problem. Oh, damn. That delete's not working properly. All right. I'm just going to have to do it manually. That delete's not working properly, and I'm losing time on this fiddling. <laughs> This is true. So I'm going to stop there. Okay, so putting cut here. Scroll down to here. And highlight all of that up to there, like so. Hit B, and we're going to trim. Oh, I forgot I can't trim the captions. So just there. Hit B. And trim it. There, now let's hear it, please. Right now, towels are the same way. I actually don't like to use a towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Because mm -hmm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out that people could touch. You're not going to just say, oh, these are brand new. They're brand new to you. People think it's going to you got to put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different, right? Right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Any type of utensils and cups and plates, you do put them in the dishwasher first. Please say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh... All right, so we can put an out there. Ah, and look at that. Now we're down 59 seconds. Unfortunately, that took way longer in effort than I wanted to. Because for whatever reason, this over here, the ripple didn't work right. It usually works pretty freaking well, but it just got a little too ambitious and started cutting out a bunch of other stuff. But even with this down to 59 seconds, I can still cut out a few other things. So let's go back, hit V on the keyboard.
same way. I actually don't like. I, I remember some pauses. I do like to wash towels. Because mm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that you. Okay. There was a pause there, I believe. Yeah. But it's not just that you are not, not. going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out. People could. T- Maybe Shouldn't not. Like We're to good. Use a towel brand new. I do like to watch. Let's see. And more people are watching. Thank y'all for popping in here. How are y'all doing? It's good to see y'all. Just goofing around in here trying to do some a little bit softer. Yeah. highlight reels and talking more. through that process. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out that people could touch. You're not going to just say, oh, these are brand new. They brand new to you. People think it's been all on them. you got to put them in the dishwasher, correct? <laughs> no different. Right? Right. Please okay. See. Well, maybe I don't have to cut anything. I thought I had some extra pauses in there. Before you put on the bed. Because yeah. uh, that's the voice that I hear every time. I get it. It's like, nope, do yeah. not put that straight on your bed. Yeah. But I want it on here right now. Towels are the same. Okay, I'm going to cut that section. So let's just we'll get rid of here. Zoom in. All right, so let's do this. We'll go... But I want it on here right now, like that. And then we'll say ripple delete. Damn it. Did it fix it? Did it do it right this time? Um, we're gonna, I'm going to play this a little bit. Of- Look at that. It did not. It took the whole damn line. Wow. Maybe if I clear out my in out point, let's try that. Maybe that's what it is. So we'll clear in out and then I will do it this way. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but that's freaking annoying. Uh, Are you going to ripple delete? Come on. See, even that didn't ripple. It just sat there. Not sure. Hey, Demancy. Uh, He's saying, are these for YouTube shorts? Are these for TikTok or YouTube shorts or both? Uh, Actually, so let me uh, discuss that there. You know, these things, you know, I was saying a little bit earlier that With all of those platforms, you got 15 seconds and 30 seconds and 60 seconds. So if you can create something within those three time ranges, you can use it on all of the platforms. And I like to put them on all of the platforms because there's three different audiences there in my experience. Um, Not to. And also, we can't forget the fact that the algorithm, they're going to be sharing your shit out to people that don't even follow you. Most of the time, the people that follow you never see your stuff, at least in my experience, (laughs) because I could tell from the comments, (laughs) people that comment are people that don't even follow me. So there's 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. But on TikTok, you can go longer than 60 seconds. So every now and then, if something I work on ends up being a little bit longer, I only put it on TikTok and I hate that because I'm missing out on eyeballs. But this one here, this is going everywhere. That's my intent every time is to put them on all three because it's all about just the extra eyeballs. Now, I mean, good question there. It's good to see you, brother. All right. So, again, this ripple is not working. So I might as well just stop fighting with AI and just do the manual because I'm I'm fast enough. I know what I'm doing. So delete that. Don't need that. And delete that. Don't need that. And just say ripple delete. Boom. So now let's see how it plays. Oh, do not put that straight on your bed. Towels are the same way. Okay. So we we got our end point here. 
So this is where the sequence is going to start on that end point. All right. Put that playing. In the washing machine and clean it before you put it on the bed. Because yeah. uh, that's the voice that I hear every time. I get it. It's like, nope, do not put that shirt on your bed. Towels are the same way. I actually don't like to use a towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Mm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out with people touch. You're not going to say, oh, these are brand new. They're brand new to you. People fingers being out on them. You're going to put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different. Right? Right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Any type of utensils and cups and plates, you do put them in the dishwasher first. Please say yes. <laughs> okay, so um, we're all right, and then that's a good stopping point. <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna play this little bit of, and I can't say I'm gonna play. So we're gonna, I'm gonna play. <laughs> we're gonna. I stop on we're gonna. So put out there, and now that's got us down to 58 seconds. So we're good to go, timing wise. Next, I'm going to work on framing. Okay. Uh, because there is some single cam stuff in here, and I figure if I'm doing single cam in it, I can change the view. But I'm going to start out in this wide like this. That's sort of my mo. Start out with the uh, with the purple uh, color mat showing and stuff like that, because I can put my little graphical elements in, which is right over here. Just drag those in like that. And then in all of this, folks, if you look at this file name at the top, it says template. <laughs> it's template. If you're using a video editor and you're doing certain types of project projects over and over again, make a template file. It, it's it'll save you so much time, you know, because when I come in here, it'll already have a sequence set up to be in this aspect ratio in the right frame rate. Uh, it'll already have these little graphical assets in it because I use them every single time. It saves you so much time. So just make a template, not just not something off my desk. All right, here we go. So let's play through to make sure the, the machine, graphics are showing up. You put on the bed. Yeah. Uh, Cause that's the voice that I hear every time. So that graphic showed up a little bit slower. So I'm going to move it over here like this. Like at the beginning and then essential graphics. Uh, why is it not showing up, dude? Oh, I don't need essential graphics because it's just a freaking text field. Duh. All right. But I see my motion is right here. That's basically it. It zooms in and zooms out. So click on it. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it. There we go. The and then bed. it's going to zoom out. Because that's the voice that I hear every time like that. I get it. So that's good. That's there. And then at the end, I should have the subscribe asset, which is right here. Please say yes. <laughs> okay. So, um, there. We're gonna put so that worked. So that's, those are good. But now let's, um, I'm going to find a point to cut to full screen which is probably because uh, that's the voice that i hear every time i get it it's like nope do not put that shirt on your bed towels are the same way i actually don't like to use a towel brand new all right so let's say after brand new okay so we'll cut here like that do like to wash towels and this would be full like, screen yeah is this a little bit soft it'll be full screen so let's go over here and just cut this out for now so cut the color mat out there the purple's gone i do like to wash towel okay so let's scale this up Because I'm running so much shit on a computer, it's going to be a little slow. <laughs> so make that 100. Move that down. Like that. And I could use the auto reframe for this part. And it works okay. But sometimes it'll put this little weird 
drift in it. Uh, I don't know. Heck, let's try it. Let's see. Let's see if it works. So we'll go to another thing. I have effects up here on the right, your effects tab. But you see right there, I have something called favorites because I use them all the damn time. I don't have to come up here and search for them. Favorites and auto reframe should be in here right there. Let's uh, I need to make a cut right here, too, because it'll analyze the full clip. If I got a 15 minute long clip in there, it's going to analyze it for that. But it's not needed for 15 minutes. It's only needed for these couple of seconds. So drag that on there like that. And you see over here in the left, it says analyze. And looks like it's done already. That's pretty quick. So let's play it back and see how it looks. Brand new. I do like to wash towels. Mm, like it's a little bit softer. See that? Yeah, you see the drifting? Up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use. Um, and see, I used an ATEM and it's using hard cuts to switch the camera. But you see that whole drifting thing? I don't think it's been all on them. You got to put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different. Right? Right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Any type of utensils. Yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm going to take that off. So I'm just going to delete the auto reframe. Clear that. There. And I'll just make these cuts myself. So. To wash towels. Mm, like. Okay. So there's going to be a cut here because that goes to me. Put a C on the keyboard there and cut. Like. Because like, it's a little bit softer. Another cut. It fluffs up more. Yeah. Okay. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons. And cut there. Whoops. Not there. Cut on the cursor. Just say, oh, these are brand new. They brand new to you. People think it's been all on them. You gotta put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different, right? Right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Any type of utensils and cups and plates, you do put them in the dishwasher first. Okay, so make one more cut. And there with the blade. There we go. So now I got those in there. Let's just frame them. Should only take a second. That one looks good. So that's 417, 869, 100. So anything with her, I'm going to make it 417, 869, 100, which is that one here. 869, 100. Yeah, that looks good. Now the ones for me, not so much. So I need to move mine over to the left a little more. Like that. I should probably have been zoomed out some, but can't do it. It'll be okay. This works. A bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs. So oh, I missed a cut there. I missed a cut there. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out that people could touch. You're not going to just say, oh, these are. Okay. So if we remember, 417, 56, nope, not that. <laughs> 417, 869. So let's fix that. 417, 869. Mm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah. Oh. So I didn't make the cut just right there. Make that ripple work. Softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. 
But it's not just that. You are not going to use um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that. All that right. Be- this is a cut. Uh, Shit. Go just say, oh. Didn't transition. So what was mine is negative 295. So make that negative 295. These are brand new. They brand new to you. People think it's going to hold them. You're going to put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different, right? Right. Please say yes. 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 <laughs> okay, so um, um, we're going to. Okay. That's where we're cut it. All right. There. All right. So I think we got it. Framing's good. And then we can throw this music there like that. Trim it down to fit. Shift I to start at the beginning. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it before you put it on the bed. Because yeah. uh, that's the voice that I hear every time. I get it. It's like, no, do no. not put that straight on your bed. Towels are the same way. I actually don't like to use a towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Because mm-hmm, like, it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use... Um, the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out that people could touch you're not gonna just say oh these are brand yeah uh, did you see that something wasn't right there i think the cut was wrong touch you're not gonna just say yeah zoom in more right there so you trim that back Trim that over. You're not just say, oh, these are brand new. They brand new to you with people fingers being all on them. You gotta put them in the dishwasher, correct? No different, right? Right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Any type of utensils and cups and plates, you do put them in the dishwasher first. Please say yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so that's good. Now, the only thing left to do is to clean up some of the text being um, incorrect and some of the timing of the text. Okay, so let's go shift in, shift I. Put that shit in the washing machine and clean it before you. And clean. So I'll go over here to text and captions there we go you put on the bed and it's not cleaning it's just clean done and clean before you put on the bed don't need to so just say the bed and then I can even trim it so it goes away on the bed because that's the voice that I hear and then since is not correct that should be cause that's Because that's the voice that I hear every time. I get it. It's like, no, do no. not put. Mm-hmm. Do not. It's like, no, no. do not put that straight on your bed. It's not strain. It's straight. <laughs> straight on. Put that straight on your bed. Towels are the same way. I actually don't like to use a towel brand new. I do like to wash towels. Mm -hmm, Because it's a little bit softer. Yeah, it fluffs up more. Yeah. But it's not just that. You are not going to use the spoons and forks and stuff like that that are out. People could touch. You're not going to just say, oh, these are. What did I say? People hurt. 
Really little ass kind of just like that that are out people could touch. People touch, not get hurt. People could touch, you're not know, just say, Oh, these are brand new. They brand new to you with people fingers been out. People fingers been out. Fingers been See, fingers. Ben, and then this should say all on them like that. There we go. It's been all on them. You gotta put them in the. And that should say you, and she says gonna right here, like that. Thanks for the super chat, man. <laughs> super chat says, uh, there it goes again. It's shrunk down. Why did that shrink down like that? Not sure why. <laughs> he had a typo. $10 super chat from Amazon. It says, bet you didn't expect to be doing this for over an hour. On behalf of folks like myself who are barely who barely get this stuff, thank you for your service, huh? You're welcome, brother. I appreciate that. <laughs> I just hope this stuff helps, you know. Um, and no, it's this this normally wouldn't take an hour to do, um, but there was that one hiccup that was happening there. Uh, just no, this should have been 30 45 minutes tops, 45 minutes tops. And 45 minutes is a bit of a stretch because I already had the template here. You know, I already had everything ready to go. I just needed to go and do cuts. And that 30 minutes would encompass also the export and getting it posted to social. So, yeah. But we just had a couple of hiccups and I'm glad we got it fixed, though. Then I'll own them. You got to put them in the dishwasher, correct? All right. So right here. You see how this this graphic is a little long in compared to this one, and that means it's going to stay on the on the screen more. It's a little longer in the timeline, so it's going to display a little bit longer. I don't want that. I want to make it a little bit shorter. So let's see. Like this is what it was in the dishwasher, correct? See, it's still hanging there. I want to cut it off just a touch. In the dishwasher, correct? Still too long. Cut it off right there. In the dishwasher, correct? Still a little too long for me. Like that. So we'll push and this here. In the dishwasher, correct? Much no better. Right, right. Please say yes. That's on there too long. Let's cut that off. Because I think taking it away and, uh, uh, um, Yes, you got to have the text elements on the screen, but I think there's it, it gives it a different flow and energy when you take them away, when they're up there and off. It's not as distracting, you know. Please say yes. Cut that there. Right, right. Please say yes. Please say yes. Too long. Cut that one, too. Please say yes any type of utensils and cups and plates you do put them in the dishwasher first and then this should say question mark not a period like that and then i'm going to cut it off because it's on there too long do we're almost the there y'all please say yes <laughs> <laughs> okay so all right, and then we can trim this, and it's not it's okay, just okay. Like that. <laughs> okay, so, um. <laughs> and I'll just say so, um, and I'll cut it off. Like that, and then click down here and trim it and that'll be the end of the clip 
and I can share this everywhere like that. And I hit save. Oh, dude, another super chat. How do I get this? I wish I can get it to show up right. And this one comes from Rico Cantrell. Hey, thank you, man, for the $20 super chat. Have an Easter whiskey on me, brother. Love all this info. Oh, thank you, man. It, I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. You know, I had no idea this was Good Friday until yesterday. I was shooting a baseball game and um, they were like, have a good Easter. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, I, I, what, what Easter? Dude, I have no idea. So thank you so much for that super chat. And then Ozone says, maybe make the second please say yes bigger to emphasize it. Uh, yeah, I could try that, but I'd have to turn it into a graphic. So let's see, which is going to be an extra step because what you'd have to do is, let's see. Let's do this. I'm, I can do a cut right here, which is going to make it two files. All right. And then I'll just say, say right there and get rid of the say on this one like that. And whoops, didn't mean to make that cut. There we go. Undo. All right. So hit V there and you can graduate these captions into graphics so I could let's see bah, bah, bah. Uh oh the computer's not keeping up with me clip where'd it go graphics install so like upgrade caption to graphic like that right there so if I do that that pulls it down so now I can do this and scale it. And then like that there. So now let's plus good idea. Let's play it back. Please say yes. Oops. Timing's off. Timing's off. So let's uh, move it down right about there. Like that. And then let's fix the timing. Trim that. Move that over. Come on, computer. Come on, Mac. Keep up with me. Please say yes. See, still off. It's fascinating that the timing went off. Please say yes. There we go. That got it. Please say yes. But now it's on there a little too long, so I'll cut it to right about here. Please say yes. Still a touch long. And I'm going to scale it up a touch more. Like that. Yeah. I like that. But now, I think the contrast on it <laughs> is a little off. There we go. Contrast is a little bit better. And then the sharpness went away because I scaled it up. So there. Now, now, see, look at that. That's good call, Joe Esposito. Please say yes. <laughs> okay, so um, we're... Perfect. It's done. <laughs> now it's done. And I'll show you how to export process because Adobe did put some uh, another feature in here but I notice there's a, an issue at least something that doesn't work for my workflow so I tell the export I'm only going to do the in and out point I don't want the whole daggum timeline that's very very key 
and I will name this one. Let's say ep 29 dash real two because I already got a previous one out there and it's going into my downloads folder. No biggie. Uh, it's 1080 by 1920, which is good. All of this is good to go down here. This bit rate settings. You don't have to have this super duper high. I think about 16 uh, mega megabits per second is totally fine. You're looking at it on a phone. You know what I'm saying? Um, even if you're looking at a full on YouTube video, 18 megabits per second look totally fine. You can crank it up to about 40, but I don't because it's just going to make it a huge file. But 18 is totally fine. All right. Then down here, audio is on captions. You have to make sure that's turned on because they're not graphics they're captions. So you make sure that's turned on. All right. But then you notice they added this TikTok thing right here. And I've already signed into my TikTok account. Um, but I want to make this as a draft to show up over there. And I'm thinking if I'm making this as a draft, I want to be able to type in my my caption, my hashtags and all of that stuff. And you can't. You can only make it. You can only type it in. Excuse me. When it's set to post. So I'm like, damn, I wish I'd had that. I wish I had this capability on the draft side, but you know, I'm not going to do that now. So I tend to just, um, export them locally to my machine and then I drop them in. I send a message to myself on Slack or Google drive or something like that and download it to my phone and post it that way, that kind of thing. And then I'll post it to TikTok, and then I'll post it to, um, uh, Instagram and YouTube shorts. So that was 59 seconds. Let's see how long this thing takes to export. Let it go. Survey says. Not bad. That's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, but then the last thing. When you're doing this on Instagram Reels, you can add a thumbnail. You can't add a thumbnail on TikTok or YouTube. So I try to scrub through and find some type of thumbnail that'll work. Sometimes. And right now I got nothing, but I'll figure that out later on. So that is it, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I've been on here a little bit longer than expected, but um, this was fun. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for hitting like on the screen and all of that good stuff and hitting share really does go a long way. Thank you for everybody that's been doing the super chats. Hope you all have a good weekend. Um, I'm supposed to do baseball tonight, but doesn't look like it's going to happen because it started raining here. So I'm probably going to chill out and um, just keep searching the job boards and stuff like that. You know, make sure y'all listen to the podcast since you just watched this highlight reel. Make sure y'all listen to the podcast. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, catch it on any podcast app you use um, or just go to the web page at slash podcast and you'll see all the stuff there, even the YouTube version and um Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that good stuff. It's right there. I made it as easy as possible for people. Um, thanks for the Patreon folks. Thanks for people shopping on Amazon using um, the affiliate codes there. That's antpro.com slash Amazon. And it just takes you to your regular Amazon page. All right. Thank you again, folks. I shall see you all one day next week, probably again on Wednesday for the live stream of the podcast. And then again on Friday with another office hours scheduling permits. Take care. See y'all later.